Congruence and similarity. We are going to focus in this video on congruent figures. You will find this on page 346 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Congruence and similarity. Congruent figures. If you take a close look at our Namibian flag, you will notice that the blue and green triangle are of the same shape and size. In general, two figures are said to be congruent if they are of the same shape and size. They are identical. Okay, so this triangle is identical to this triangle if you just move it around. So if one shape can become another, one can be placed on top of the other using turns, flips and or sides, then the shapes are congruent. So if you look at this one, you will see, okay, this angle is equal to this angle, this one to this and this one to this. Now usually if they name it, they will name it correct, meaning angle A, where is angle A, I'm going to mark it with color, angle A will just be as big as angle P. And angle B will be as angle Q. And then the last one, angle C will be angle R. C will be angle R. Okay. So that is, and then the sides. It works the same with the sides. If you do this, and if I look, show you at this one, say it's triangle A, B, C, triangle. And that is congruent, that's the sign for congruent. P, Q, R, triangle. Then I'm going to say that A, B will be equal to P, Q. B, C will be equal to Q, R. And A, C will be equal to P, R. Okay, the symbol is read as congruent too. In writing a congruency, so that is the symbol, it's an equal sign with an extra stripe. In writing congruence expressions, it's important that the vertices of one figure corresponds to the vertices of another figure. In the above triangles, it's wrong to say ABC is congruent to QRP because, okay, you can say, um, let's just see, ABP, so angle Q is not as big as angle A. Can you see? Angle A it's just P, it's not as big as Q, so you have to write it in the correct order. But let's look at an example. In triangle ABC, um, it's now it's a quadrilateral, so this will be congruent to this. Now, and then they give you their dimensions, and then they ask you to find the length. Now, it's very important, you can do it. First, write it, they will give it to you in the correct order. Congruent. So P, Q, R, S. What does this mean? This means A, B is equal to P, Q. A, B, P, Q. And then angle B, C, Q, R. Angle B, C is equal to Q, R. And angle C, D, C, D, will be equal to R S. Okay, a side. So let's just mark the sides here. It was A, B and P, Q. They will be equal. And then it was B, C, B, C and Q, R. Q, R. They will be equal. And then it's C, D and R, S. And then it will be this one that's not marked. Okay, so let's just write it in white. Then it will be AD is equal to SP. Okay, that's the sides. So if I go and I say find the length of BC, BC. So let's just take it out. We will say BC is equal to QR. Now what is BC? So BC equals QR equals uh, QR it's 7. Okay, and that's how I get 7. And then the next one, that was A, the size of angle BID. Let's look at, okay, now if I write the angles, I write the sides. Maybe I can just show you the angles also. Um, so angle A will be equal to angle P. Angle 
angle B will be equal to angle Q. Angle C will be equal to angle R. And the last one, angle D will be equal to angle H. Okay. So basically, this is what I do there. Now, if I also find the size of angle BAD, let's just see. BAD, so it's ang angle A. And angle A, don't forget, angle A is equal to angle P is equal to 71 degrees. That's how I got it. The size of angle ADC, now where was ADC? Okay, let's just find it there. ADC, so it's actually angle D. So it's angle D is equal to angle S. So angle D is equal to angle S, but now it's that one that's not. So a quadrilateral add up to 360. So 360 minus, 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 and it's 125, so that angle will be 125. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. So in the diagram, and now this is very important. Okay, let's start. Um, they say triangle A, B, C, triangle F, E, D. So in this case, we are going to say A, B, F, E. So A, B is going to be equal to F, E. And we're going to say B, C is E, D. And we are going to say IC FE. IC equals FD. Um, so find the length of DE. DE. So remember BC. BC. Oh no, no, I think let's use the same color. So I can say BC is equal to ED. And what is BC? And that will be equal to 3. Okay, 3 centimeters. And then that this is number A. And then number B, the length of FD. So FD looks like red. So AC equals FD equals, and AC is 5 centimeters. Okay, and then the last one, angle. Okay, now let's just write down the angles first. So if I write the angles, so I can say angle A is equal to angle F. Beginning, beginning, middle, middle. Angle B is equal to angle E. Loss, loss. Angle C is equal to angle D. Okay, so basically if I'm asking D, F, E, let's just look. D, F, E, it's actually angle F, so I can go and say C, angle A is equal to angle F is equal to 36.9. So therefore, we can just write it, angle D, F, E equals 36.9. I'm just naming it a, different, a bit different like the way they did, but it's referring to angle F. And that's how you do congruent figures. In the next video, we will look at similar figures.